Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave and a product review, or actually product profiling. So I know I've been a little bit uh, lacking on some of the videos, but as you can see, these two boxes right here, yeah, it's been baby life for me. So me and my wife. So we're very excited. Things are going swimmingly, but received this product in the mail the other day and wanted to give it a shot. So here we go. Today we are profiling finds brand new aftershave latigo now this is based off of a uh a uh a cologne that i cannot pronounce the name of we'll, tell you, we'll go over that a little bit but anyway this is the box that it comes in here and as you can see there's their traditional bottle yeah uh, it's got the standard lack of decanter on top uh basically i just usually put my hand over it dump it a couple of times and throw it on my face. Other people have different uh, ways of applying this, but that's how that works. So as far as I'm concerned, the scent on this, it's like a light leather scent. There's uh, there's diesel, leather, and talc. And those are the primary scent notes in this. And this, basically the diesel kind of, it doesn't smell like diesel, like like an engine to me. It just kind of makes it a lighter version of leather so that that's exactly what we're going with that now before we get into the rest of the shave let's talk about the holiday of the day today's holiday of the day is national double cheeseburger day as you can see with my double chin i like double cheeseburgers so i will be taking part in that today later on happy national double cheeseburger day let me know what you like uh, to put on your double cheeseburgers if you like double cheeseburgers in the comment section below now moving on with the rest of the gear this soap, or I'm sorry, this aftershave here does not, at least currently, have a matching soap. Uh, they sent this to me. Uh, thank you very much to try it out. And I looked. They don't have a soap as of yet. I think they're probably, my guess is they probably try to see how it does. So I'm going to match it with Lancaster Leather. This is a, a shave soap, or I call it more of a cream, actually. Um, this is, uh, it's a luxury cream soap is what it is. So it is a cream. Uh, that's it right there. This stuff is, by Katie's Balls, is fantastic. This is way more leather forward than the aftershave, but I just figured it would be kind of a nice pairing. And uh, I like Katie's Bubbles Cream so Soap, especially when I'm doing a straight razor shave. Speaking of the straight razor, we are going to talk about that. This is our Wade & Butcher Restored. This one was not restored by me. Wade & Butcher, custom scales, obviously. And we're going with... Lancaster Brushworks matching brush handle and a badger knot that's been soaking in the water. So we've got our soap pressed in our bowl way more than we really need. Although we also don't want to forget we always have the peach scented witch hazel that we're going to be using to treat the face afterwards as well. And I've used Fines aftershaves. They work fine by themselves. I just always like to throw witch hazel on my skin. Uh, it's a definite benefactor to it. It's something I've always done and I will continue to do. So that's the gear. That's the setup. We're going to take a minute, load this brush, actually load up the soap and make it lathered. That's the word we're looking for, lathered. So we're going to lather it, get it ready to go, get this shave happening. In the meantime, take a look at this. Fine has been making products for a while now, and you would be hard-pressed to find a wet shaver who has not at least heard of them. Their aftershaves are a bit more famous than their soap. What with products like Snakebite and American Blend, they have hammered their way into the wet shaving aftershave scene. This one has emerged from their lineup with a very special inspiration from a long-standing cologne, Knees 10. Notes of leather, talc, and diesel with a tad bit of menthol makes this a perfect addition to their product offering. At $20 per bottle, it can be had right at their website at fineaccoutrements.com. A fine hat tipping to a classic scent with a masculine flair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Here's the soap rocking and rolling, ready to go. Go ahead and apply this. Got that nice smoky scent coming out on this. So, when I was loading or not loading when I was making the lather I kind of lost my focus and I uh, added way too much water to it way overloaded it but you know that's just a testament to a good quality soap is I did that and it you know I had to 
work it a little bit more, but it took it fine. See, me, good quality soap, can take a lot of water, but it doesn't necessarily need it. And that's, Katie's Bubbles is just something that will always be in my wheelhouse. I am dropping soap everywhere. Now, let's talk about this video. I could have skipped to the part where it was just the aftershave. I'm strictly talking about the aftershave. However, I haven't done a ton of videos lately. And there are people out there who like to see the shave. So we'll do that. Now, Fine has been around. Man, that point gets me almost every time. Now, Fine's been around for a minute. <laughs> That's a rhetorical, I mean, a uh, sarcastic response. It's been around for a little while. And they know how to put together a nice aftershave, in my opinion. Is it the best on the market? No. But it is nice. And if you're looking for something to add to your shade then that you've never tried, they've got a couple of different scents that are not copycats. Drives me nuts when people copycat stuff. And I don't mean cologne dupes, that's different. When one artisan copies another, it's just kind of like, really? Especially when they're not subtle about it. I caught something the other night on a website, which I'm not going to get into, where I saw... I saw a copy of, <clears throat> in my opinion, it was a direct copy. There was two different soaps I was looking at. And even the name was similar to the original Artisan. I mean, it's kind of like... It's kind of like, you know that, so, that uh, soda called Crush the Orange Stuff? It's like going to the store and seeing the store brand name and seeing it called Smash and it's orange so you know what it's supposed to be but they're not going to call it Crush. That's kind of like what I saw. Anyway, I mean, this business, things get copied. It happens in every business. Cars, food, 
It all happens. I'm just surprised people are so blatant about it sometimes. Anyway, all right. Well, that's the first pass. Yeah, it was a good pass. We're going to go ahead and finish this up with a couple other directional passes, and uh, we'll get into the aftershave part of this video since that is the point. So, All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The shave is being completed, as you can see. All my passes are done. I can get myself a little bit down here, a little bit over here today, but that corner on that razor is tough. All right, <clears throat> throw a little bit of aftershave. Or after the shave. This is just witch hazel. Alright. The uh, fine stuff is alcohol based. For those of you that it matters. Me, I do prefer alcohol based stuff. Honestly. I found that straight witch hazel. To, like, If I got all I needed out of straight witch hazel. I would just use that and that would be it. That's generally not the case for me. So as far as the scent is concerned on this, uh, I'm not even going to get into the soap part of it because that, that's another review. You can look that up. I have reviewed Lancaster Leather by Katie's Bubbles. You can check it out. Uh, this stuff here, I found the scent strength to be pretty, pretty up there. This is one of those scents that you can pretty much wear anywhere. There's a few cologne scents that I have that are great for like date night they're great for being you know around your friends and stuff but it, you know it's not something you would really want to wear to a gathering where the attention is not really necessarily on you um this is one of those you can wear this to a gathering where the attention is not necessarily on you or anywhere really Hmm. There's the diesel. It's nice, and it's got a <clears throat> like I, it says here, and um, I've said it before. It has a touch of menthol in it. As far as how much is concerned, the whole percentage and all that, I, I have no idea. I can tell you that. Um, yeah, I couldn't begin to tell. I don't think it even tells you on the box. No, but I can tell you that it's it's barely there. Yeah, it just says menthol. It's barely there. It's, it's enough to kind of, and it's gradual. It gives you kind of, it kind of comes up on you a little bit later. Um, it's not something that hits you in the face like uh, Barrister Man's Artique. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Um, I have that. That one's like right on you. Um, does what it says. I mean, it, it tones the face. Smells nice, not overly strong. It's uh, if I would give it a rating on a scent scale, I'd say uh, ten being the strongest. I'd probably give it a five, maybe a four. It's, I mean, it's definitely that's why I say it's something you can pretty much wear anywhere because it's it's nice, but it's not it's not so overly strong where people are you're gonna walk in the room and everyone's gonna focus their attention on you, uh, especially at a place or an event that you don't necessarily want that to happen at. This is good to wear. It'll tone your skin, make you look nice, make you smell a little bit, you know, make you smell good and presentable without making you the star of the party. Okay, uh, I would recommend this aftershave. Uh, it is $20 a bottle, as I said before in the commentary. Uh, would I pay $20 a bottle for this? Yeah, I would say so. You're getting a pretty good amount of it. I mean, it's 100 milliliters. Uh, the glass bottle is nice and sturdy, thick, and I don't necessarily feel like I'm going to drop this. Uh, however, it would be nice to have some sort of a knurling on the side like um, PAA has so you can hold on to it so something like that on the side but other than that it that that's I'm just being nitpicky this is a great aftershave I don't have any problem with it I think it works well it's not you know the most it's not something I would necessarily reach for if I had a bad shave and I needed to get something really nice on my face to treat my skin this is something I would have. This is something I would use on an everyday shave that I have a great, good shave with. I have no problems. Throw it on and you're out the door. So for that reason, I would recommend putting it in your wheelhouse. 
from me. So that is the evaluation of this particular shave or aftershave. So thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.